Hi everyone, this is Sail from Quicknode and today in this video, we will create a blog post on IPFS Decentralized Network. IPFS is the most preferred protocol for creating these decentralized applications or to be more specific, storing the resources of these decentralized applications. Today, we will be creating a blog post and storing the blog post file on a IPFS node using Quicknode's pinning service so that it's pinned on a QuickNotes IPFS node and it's available to us all the time. And then we will get a dedicated QuickNode IPFS gateway to access the file. Now you may ask why a dedicated IPFS gateway? Because we already have a free gateway out there, which is provided by the protocol labs, the creator of IPFS. And you will also see a default gateway in your QuickNote dashboard once you upload your file. The thing is that these gateways are available to everyone and anyone can access them. And uh, they might be throttled or rate limited a lot of the times if you use it or if you overuse it. So getting a dedicated gateway is always essential or helpful because you are the sole owner of it and you can use it however you want. To learn more about IPFS and how IPFS works, and IPFS pinning, check out the video in the info card over here. Over here, we have a HTML file and we are writing the title as my blog. And then there's some basic CSS over here for font styling and colors and uh, font uh, size, etc. And then we have a heading using the H1 tag and we are writing my blog in it. And then we have this div with id blog this will be the div in which our blogs will go in and then we are opening the script tag so that we can write some javascript in it and then we are creating a variable called posts and in that we are storing our blog posts right now we have two blog posts and it has title date author and content and then we have just created a function format date to display the date in a more readable format. And then we are creating a function called create post element using which we will display all of these elements like title, date, author, content, etc. in the page. So what we are doing is we are just creating different divs and then passing in the details which we stored in this posts variable. And then we are just getting the blog div using its id and then inserting all of these details into the html page so now let's try to open this html file so this is how our blog website looks like so what we need to do to upload it to ipfs is go to quicknote.com and then create an account and uh, IPFS right now on QuickNode is only available on the paid plans. So once you are on a paid plan, you will see a tab like this, which is storage over here. And then what you need to do is just click on add file and add the file which we just created. So once that's done, you will see your file under the files tab like this. And as you can see, it has this hash which is the CID of this file, which is the content identifier of this file. So now this file is uploaded on IPFS using QuickNotes IPFS pending. So now if you want to access this file, you can access it using this CID over here. And you can also open it by just going here and doing view files. So over here, you will see a preview of what our file looks like. But you can also access it in your browser by just copying this URL and then pasting it in your domain bar. So you can see that we are accessing this file using a quick node gateway. And then the CID of the file is followed by the gateway URL. So now let's understand what gateways are, IPFS gateways are. IPFS gateways are basically, as the name suggests, gateways, which are used to serve IPFS files. So as we saw that IPFS uses content addressing as opposed to location addressing, which is supported by all the major browsers. So 
all the major browsers cannot just access your IPFS file. So to be able to access that file in a normal browser, you would need a service like Gateway using which you can access your IPFS file. So with QuickNode, you can create your own gateways by going to the gateway tab and then clicking on create gateways. You can name it anything, but I'm just going to use this name. And then there are two options, public and private. So if you create a public gateway, you will be able to access any files uploaded on IPFS. But if you create a private gateway, you will only be able to access the files which are pinned using QuickNotes IPFS pinning service. So we will just create a public one and then create a gateway. So as you can see, we have our gateway over here. And now when we go back to our files and then go to view file details and then copy the IPFS URL, you would be able to see that it's the new IPFS gateway, which is serving our file. And this is our file's CID. You can basically replace this CID to access any IPFS file using this quick node IPFS gateway. You can also get this uh, gateways URL by just going to gateways and then copying it from here. So if you copy it from here and paste it, it will look something like this. And then what you have to do is just add a slash and then the CID of your IPFS file. So this is how you can use QuickNode to upload your files on IPFS. And then you can also use QuickNode's IPFS gateway to access your files, which are already uploaded on IPFS. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the QuickNode YouTube channel and let us know in the comment section what more topics we should cover. Thank you, everyone.